In an industry filled with glitz and glamour, the actress Joan Caulfield made a name for herself as a talented and successful performer. Born on June 1, 1922, in Hillsdale, New Jersey, the actress began her career in show business at a young age. After being discovered by a talent scout, the actress signed a contract with Paramount Pictures and quickly rose to fame. She appeared in numerous films throughout the 1940s and 1950s, including The Time, The Place, and The Girl, and The Gallant Blade. Her beauty and charm captured audiences, and she became one of the most popular actresses of her time. In addition to her work in film, the actress also made appearances on television shows and stage productions. She starred in the popular television series The Bob Cummings Show and appeared in several Broadway productions, including The Tea House of the August Moon and Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Despite facing challenges and setbacks throughout her career, the actress remained dedicated to her craft and continued to work in the industry for several decades. She was known for her professionalism, kindness, and generosity, and was highly respected by her peers. The actress's contributions to the world of entertainment continue to be celebrated and remembered today. Her talent, beauty, and grace have left a lasting impact on the industry and have inspired generations of performers. Joan Caulfield was a classic Hollywood star known for her beauty and talent. She began her career as a model before transitioning to acting in the 1940s. Despite not achieving the same level of fame as some of her contemporaries, she left a lasting impact on the film industry. Do you have any favorite films or performances of the actress? Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about her that you find fascinating? Throughout her career, the actress appeared in a variety of films, including comedies, dramas, and musicals. She even starred in her own television show in the 1950s. One interesting fact about the actress is that she was discovered by none other than Orson Welles, who was so impressed by her beauty that he cast her in a play he was directing. Do you have any personal memories or experiences related to the actress that you would like to share? We would love to hear from you in the comments below. Throughout this video, we will be sharing many funny, shocking, and even sad facts about the actress's life and career. So be sure to keep watching to learn more about this classic Hollywood star. Born in 1922 in rural Connecticut, the actress was the youngest of three children. Her father, a successful businessman, and her mother, a former actress, provided a comfortable upbringing for the family. The actress's early exposure to theater came from her mother, who often took her to Broadway shows in New York City. The actress's natural beauty and talent for performing were evident from a young age. She began her career as a model, appearing in magazines and on billboards throughout the city. Her big break came when she was discovered by a Hollywood agent and offered a contract with Paramount Pictures. During her time at Paramount, the actress worked with some of the biggest names in the industry, including Bob Hope and Bing Crosby. She starred in a number of successful films, including The Time, The Place, and The Girl, and Paleface. One of the actress's key mentors was director Preston Sturges, who cast her in several of his films. Sturges was known for his witty dialogue and fast-paced comedies, and he helped the actress hone her comedic timing and delivery. The actress's career was put on hold when she married actor John Denham in 1945. She took a break from acting to focus on her family, but she returned to the screen in the 1950s with successful roles in television shows like Schlitz Playhouse of Stars and General Electric Theater. Throughout her career, the actress remained humble and grateful for the opportunities she had been given. She once said, I've been very lucky. I've worked with some of the greatest people in the business, and I've had a lot of fun. Her legacy as a talented and versatile actress continues to inspire aspiring performers today. The actress, known for her work in film and television, began her career in the 1940s. She appeared in a number of notable films, including The Time, The Place, and The Girl, and The Bourne Supremacy, where she played the role of Marie St. Clair and Mary Chernoff, respectively. In the time, the place, and the girl, the actress starred alongside Dennis Morgan and Jack Carson, playing a love interest in this musical comedy. Her performance was well received and helped to establish her as a talented actress. Later in her career, she had a role in The Bourne Supremacy, the second film in the Bourne series. Although she appeared in a smaller role, her performance was still memorable and she added depth to the character of Mary Chernoff. For those new to her work, the time, the place, and the girl is a great place to start. 
This film showcases her early talent and is a classic example of the musical comedies of the 1940s. Additionally, The Bourne Supremacy is a must-watch for fans of the Bourne series as it features the actress in a more mature role. Overall, the actress had a long and successful career in both film and television, leaving behind a body of work that continues to be celebrated and enjoyed today. Ever since the actress was a young girl, she was drawn to the enchanting world of entertainment. At the tender age of eight, she won a beauty contest in New Jersey, which sparked her interest in performing. However, it was her serendipitous discovery of a letter left behind by her late sister that truly ignited her passion for acting. The letter revealed her sister's unfulfilled dream of becoming an actress. Struck by this revelation, the actress felt a profound connection to her sister's ambition and made a solemn vow to pursue this path in her honor. This pivotal moment became the driving force behind the actress's decision to embark on a journey to stardom. Her first break came when she was spotted by a talent scout while working as a model. She was soon offered a contract with Paramount Pictures and her career took off from there. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks, the actress remained steadfast in her pursuit of her dream, fueled by her love for the craft and the memory of her sister. Throughout her career, the actress graced both the silver screen and the stage with her undeniable talent and charm. Her unwavering dedication to her craft left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, inspiring generations of aspiring actors and actresses to follow in her footsteps. In the early 1940s, the actress began her career as a fashion model represented by the John Robert Powers Agency. Her striking beauty quickly caught the attention of many, and it was said that she was one of the few women in Hollywood who was virtually impossible to photograph badly. As her career progressed, the actress became known for her work in film and television. Her natural grace and beauty shone through in every role she played, and she quickly became a favorite among audiences and critics alike. In a strange twist of fate, the actress's former spouse, Frank Ross, had been previously married to Jean Arthur. On the very day following the actress's death, Arthur herself passed away. This unusual coincidence has been noted by many and it serves as a reminder of the interconnected nature of the world we live in. Despite the many years that have passed since the actress's death, her legacy continues to live on. Her work in the film and television industry has left a lasting impact, and she will always be remembered as one of the true beauties of her time. Despite facing financial struggles early on, the actress remained determined to succeed in the industry. Raised during the Great Depression, she experienced firsthand the hardships of poverty, However, instead of letting this hold her back, she used it as motivation to work harder. The actress also had to overcome industry skepticism. When she first started out, many people doubted her abilities as a serious actress. They saw her beauty and assumed that she lacked talent. But the actress was determined to prove them wrong. She spent countless hours studying her craft, taking acting classes, and working on her skills. One of the creative solutions she found to overcome these obstacles was to take on roles that challenged her and showcased her talent. She chose parts that allowed her to demonstrate her range as an actress rather than simply relying on her looks. This strategy paid off and she soon gained the respect of her peers and audiences alike. Another challenge the actress faced was breaking free from the stereotype of being just a pretty face. To do this, she took on roles that required her to play complex and nuanced characters. She was not afraid to take risks and push herself out of her comfort zone. In addition, the actress faced discrimination in the industry due to her gender. At the time, there were few opportunities for women in Hollywood, and those that did exist were often limited to certain types of roles. But the actress refused to be pigeonholed. She fought for equal treatment and pay, and paved the way for future generations of women in the industry. Despite these challenges, the actress remained resilient and determined to succeed. She never gave up, even in the face of adversity. Her story is a testament to the power of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. The favorite actress of writer and director Joss Whedon is none other than the talented and elegant Joan Caulfield. Whedon often wears a t-shirt featuring her picture, and enjoys testing people's knowledge of classic Hollywood by asking if they can identify her. Caulfield's legacy extends beyond the silver screen, as she is also featured as a character in the mystery novel Dead in Their Sights by John Dandola. The novel explores her roots in West Orange, New Jersey, 
providing a fascinating glimpse into her early life. In a touching tribute, Caulfield's ashes were scattered in the Pacific Ocean, allowing her to be forever connected to the natural beauty of the world. Her impact on the film industry and the lives of those who knew her continues to resonate to this day. After making her film debut in 1945, the actress's career reached a turning point with her role in The Time, Place, and The Girl the following year. Critics praised her performance, and she quickly became a popular leading lady in Hollywood. In 1947, the actress starred in The Bride Goes Wild, which further solidified her status as a rising star. Her co-star Van Johnson spoke highly of her talent, stating, Joan was a dream to work with. She had a natural grace and charm that radiated on screen. However, it was the actress's role in the 1948 film April Showers that gained her critical acclaim. Her portrayal of a singer in a struggling nightclub was hailed as a breakthrough performance. The film's director, James V. Kern, noted, Joan brought a depth and vulnerability to her character that truly captured the audience's hearts. The actress continued to make her mark in the film industry throughout the 1950s, appearing in a number of successful films and television shows. Her talent and dedication to her craft left a lasting impact on the industry and solidified her place as a beloved actress of her time. As critic Bosley Crowther wrote in the New York Times, the actress has a rare and delicate talent that is well suited for the screen. Her performances are always thoughtful and nuanced, making her a true standout in the world of film. After making her film debut in 1945's The Princess and The Pirate, actress Joan Caulfield quickly gained attention for her striking beauty and comedic timing. In 1946, she co-starred with Bing Crosby in The Road to Rio, and the following year, she appeared in the classic film The Time of Your Life alongside James Cagney. Caulfield's talent was further recognized in 1949 when she received a Golden Globe nomination for her role in Apartment for Peggy. She continued to deliver strong performances throughout the 1950s, including in the romantic comedy The Pajama Game and the drama Blueprint for Murder. In addition to her film work, Caulfield also made a name for herself on television. She starred in the popular sitcom The Bob Cummings Show from 1955 to 1959, earning an Emmy nomination for her performance. She also appeared as a guest star on numerous other shows throughout her career. Throughout her career, Caulfield received critical acclaim and recognition for her work. In addition to her Golden Globe and Emmy nominations, she was also awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960. Caulfield's contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be celebrated and remembered today as her films and television shows remain popular and beloved by audiences of all ages. Her talent, beauty, and charm have left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. The actress, known for her radiant beauty, brought a unique sensitivity and intelligence to her roles. She didn't just recite lines, but rather, she became the character she played. Her approach to acting was deeply personal, often drawing upon her own experiences to infuse depth and authenticity into her performances. In her preparation for a role, she would immerse herself in research, studying the character's background, motivations, and emotions. She believed that understanding the character's psyche was crucial to delivering a believable performance. This meticulous approach was evident in her nuanced portrayals, where she managed to capture the subtlest of emotions, making her performances truly compelling. Her unique style was also characterized by her ability to underplay dramatic moments, relying more on her expressive eyes and body language than on dialogue. This subtle approach made her performances more relatable and impactful as audiences could easily connect with her character's emotions. The actress's worldview, shaped by her experiences and upbringing, often reflected in her work. She was a strong advocate for women's rights and often chose roles that portrayed women in a positive and empowering light. Her characters were not just pretty faces, but complex individuals with their own dreams, fears, and ambitions. In the film The Show Off, she played a character who, despite being beautiful and popular, yearned for intellectual stimulation and respect. This role showcased her ability to portray intelligent and strong-willed women, challenging the stereotypical portrayal of women in Hollywood at the time. In conclusion, the actress's unique approach to acting, characterized by her meticulous preparation, subtle emotional portrayals, and strong advocacy for women's rights, set her apart in Hollywood. Her legacy continues to resonate today 
inspiring generations of actors and actresses to delve deeper into their characters and bring authenticity to their performances. After reprising her role in Larceny for a Lux Radio Theater broadcast in 1948, the actress became a mother for the first time in 1959, giving birth to a child with Frank Ross. A few years later, she welcomed another son, John, into her family with Dr. Robert Peterson in 1962. In 1963 and 1964, the actress, along with several other actresses, lent her support to U.S. Senator Barry M. Goldwater's campaign against President Lyndon B. Johnson. She joined Ruth Hussey, Marie Windsor, Yvonne DiCarlo, Laren Day, Virginia Mayo, and Mady Norman in making appearances on behalf of the Republican nominee. Joan Caulfield, an actress who graced the silver screen in the 1940s and 1950s, left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her beauty and charm were only surpassed by her acting prowess, which shone through in every role she played. In The Time, The Place, and The Girl, Caulfield showcased her comedic timing, while in The Furies, she demonstrated her ability to tackle complex and dramatic characters. Her performances were nuanced and captivating, leaving audiences in awe of her talent. Caulfield's influence extended beyond her on-screen roles. She was known for her philanthropy and dedication to various charitable causes. Her kindness and generosity earned her the admiration and respect of her peers and industry experts. Industry experts and those inspired by Caulfield have praised her contributions to the film industry. Director Howard Hawks, who worked with Caulfield in The Big Sleep, said, She was a natural actress with a unique ability to convey emotion and depth through her performances. Actress and director Jodie Foster, who cites Caulfield as an inspiration, said, Joan Caulfield was a trailblazer, a talented actress who paved the way for future generations of women in the film industry. Caulfield's legacy continues to resonate today with her performances inspiring and influencing new generations of actors and filmmakers. Her contributions to the film industry as well as her philanthropic efforts, serve as a testament to her enduring impact and influence. The actress passed away just two weeks after undergoing cancer surgery in Los Angeles. Her career in the film industry was marked by her striking beauty and undeniable talent. She first gained recognition in the late 1940s, appearing in a number of successful films. Her work in The Time, The Place, and The Girl, and The Sainted Sisters earned her critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. As her career progressed, she continued to make her mark in the world of television with notable roles in popular shows of the time. Despite the challenges she faced in her personal life, including struggles with her health, she remained a dedicated and passionate actress until the end. Her contributions to the entertainment industry will not be forgotten, and she will always be remembered for her talent, grace, and beauty. The actress's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today and her work remains a testament to her enduring impact on the world of film and television. The actress Joan Caulfield, known for her work in film and television, led a life that was deeply informed by her personal values and interests outside of her professional sphere. She was a passionate advocate for various social causes and dedicated much of her time and resources to philanthropic efforts. Caulfield was particularly drawn to issues related to child welfare and education. She was actively involved with the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles and served on its board of trustees for many years. The actress was also a strong supporter of the Los Angeles Public Library and worked tirelessly to promote literacy and reading among young people. In addition to her work with children, Caulfield was also deeply committed to animal welfare. She was a longtime supporter of the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals and worked closely with the organization to raise awareness about the importance of treating animals with kindness and compassion. Caulfield's personal values and interests often informed her work as an actress. She frequently chose roles that allowed her to explore social issues and promote positive change. For example, in the film The Corn is Green, she played a teacher who helps a young minor escape poverty and achieve his dreams through education. Despite her success in Hollywood, Caulfield remained deeply grounded in her values and never lost sight of the importance of giving back to her community. She was a true humanitarian, using her platform as a celebrity to make a difference in the lives of others. In addition to her philanthropic work, Caulfield was also known for her love of nature and the outdoors. She was an avid gardener and spent much of her free time tending to her beautiful gardens at her homes in California and Connecticut. 
Paul Phil's personal values and interests were a true reflection of her character and helped to shape the person she was both on and off screen. Her dedication to social causes and her commitment to making a positive impact on the world will always be remembered and celebrated. After a successful career in film and television, the actress's life took a tragic turn. She lost her only child, a daughter, in a car accident in 1968. The daughter, who was only 18 years old at the time, was killed instantly when the car she was riding in crashed into a tree. The actress was devastated by the loss and never fully recovered. She became reclusive and withdrew from public life, eventually passing away in 1991 at the age of 69. This shocking and sad event cast a shadow over the actress's life and career, leaving a tragic legacy that is still discussed today. Joan Caulfield, the actress, left a lasting impact on the film industry during her career. She was known for her natural talent and captivating performances. Although she passed away in 1991, her work continues to be celebrated and appreciated by film enthusiasts. Despite the many changes in the entertainment industry since Caulfield's time, her advice for aspiring professionals remains relevant. She once said, always be true to yourself and never stop learning. This advice encourages aspiring actors to stay grounded and focused on their craft, even as they navigate the ups and downs of the industry. Caulfield also believed in the importance of adaptability. She once noted, the only constant in this business is change. This sentiment highlights the need for actors to be flexible and open to new opportunities as the industry is constantly evolving. In terms of future contributions, the film industry continues to provide opportunities for new and diverse voices to be heard. Caulfield's legacy serves as a reminder of the power of authentic storytelling and the importance of representation on screen. For those looking to make their mark in the industry, Caulfield's advice is a valuable guide. By staying true to oneself and embracing change, aspiring actors can pave their own path to success and contribute to the rich legacy of the film industry. After watching the actress's films, it's clear that she left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her work continues to resonate with audiences today, and it's fascinating to see how she brought complex characters to life on the screen. The actress was known for her versatility and ability to portray a wide range of roles. From dramatic leading ladies to comedic ingenues, she did it all with grace and skill. Her performances were nuanced and captivating, leaving a lasting impression on all who saw them. It's no wonder that the actress's legacy has endured for so long. Her work in film and television helped shape the entertainment landscape and paved the way for future generations of performers. So, what do you think about the actress's work and legacy? Do you have a favorite film or performance? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's celebrate the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. And if you enjoyed this content, please like and share it with your friend and family. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the lives and work of the talented individuals who have made a mark on the entertainment industry.